Hello everybody and welcome to Dynasty Racing League TV. I'm your host James Pandolf and tonight we have DRL Pro Series action from Southern National Motorsports Park. This is the second race of the season here for the Pro Series drivers and uh, we have quite a field going on tonight. A little over 10 drivers. Last week winner Garrett Maines is on track. He's currently second on the practice board behind the number 51 of Caden Honeycutt. Let's see if we can pull in an interview with last week's race winner. Garrett Maines, this is James Pandoff from the broadcast booth. you have a copy? Yes, sir. Gotcha. Well, after last week's win in the Pro Series at Rockingham, uh, how do you feel about tonight? I really don't know how tonight's going to go. Me and Caden have been back and forth on the top. Um, I think he's probably a little bit more consistent uh, here than I am. Uh, we're just going to see how it plays out. If we can make a move and get back to the lead. Uh, I really don't expect to get the ball here, but, you know, hopefully we will, and that'll really uh, help us out in the race. Now, this track is a little more than half the size less than Rockingham was. Is there any simul similarities between Rockingham and tonight that you are aware of? Uh, to be honest with you, uh, there's not much that... I can compare to it. Uh, the setup tonight is just really you know, It's hard to keep it on the bottom. So, uh, other than other than that, I don't see any similarities. Uh, I think it's really going to play more in the gates hands. I have no experience in tracks like this, so it'll be interesting. Alrighty, well we are under a minute left away from qualifying, so I'm going to let you go. Good luck out there and have some fun. Thank you, sir. And that was Garrett Main, winners of last week's race at Rockingham. Let me pull up the standings after one race in the DRL Pro Series. As you see, we have Garrett Mains in the lead with the 40 points in that one victory so far in the season. Richard Springer had a second place finish, followed by Robbie Armstrong. My Mwenzel and Joseph Shiles finished out the top five last week. One surprising finish last week was Wade Hustad, uh getting in a wreck early. Uh, he'll look to bounce back tonight and hopefully pick up his first one of the season. Tonight's weather we have a 80 degree overcast with 1% humidity and a northeasterly wind of 8 miles per hour. And the cars are now on track for qualifying. Right here we have another 51 of Caden Honeycutt. Let's see what kind of lap time he can put down. He was fastest in qualifying. He looks to have stopped. Maybe he didn't like that lap and he'll reset. Gavin Mains, we just talked to him, is on track. Let's see what kind of lap he pushed down. Nice entry into three. And he spins it off four. That is not going to be good. He kept it off the wall though. I believe he'll have a chance to retry. And there he goes off pits. Joseph waiting on pit road. He has three and a half minutes to go out to set at least one lap. Getty Buckner currently fifth on the boards. Ooh, he might have hit the wall there. That might not allow his lap. Looks like he's going to pull into pits. Justin Allen in the 10, Baveline. He has a good exit off four, and he dives it down there in turn one. Diving in turn three, he's gonna have a good roll in the middle. Coming off turn four. Currently fourth, not bad for Justin Allen in the number 10.
Looks like Garrett Mains is all done and will be second. That looks like that would be that for qualifying. Looks like Hayden Honeycutt will be a pole sitter. Garrett Mains closely behind him, followed by the 17 of Ben Isinger. Fourth will be Justin Allen, and Taylor Butcher Benjamin will be fifth. Let me see if I can get an interview with Getty Buckner real quick. He missed last week's race. See what his thoughts are on for tonight. Getty Buckner, this is James Pandoff in the booth. Got a copy? Yes, I do, James. How's it going, buddy? Pretty good. Uh, not the best qualifying effort for you tonight. Um, how are you going to approach this race with 185 long laps? Well, this is my first visit ever at this racetrack in any capacity. So, uh, you know, my my intentions tonight are to try to just kind of save equipment at first and uh, just see if I can outlast these guys as far as, uh, you know, staying off the wall and, th you know, things of that nature. So uh, tonight um, I'm not going to be beating anybody on speed. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm going to be beating them, hopefully, with uh, just racing clean and minding my own business as long as I can. As you said, this is your first time ever on this track with the practice laps and the qualifying laps you just had. What are your thoughts about the track? Do you like it or do you regret buying it? No, no, no. Um, I, I, I've, I've had the track for a while. I just never had the opportunity to take a visit. So uh, it's certainly it's, it's very fun. Um, it just takes a second to, you know, figure out your entry uh, and exit setups and, um, you know, but it, it seems, you know, we'll, we'll find out what happens when we get these 11 cars on the uh, on the grid here. But uh, when you're by yourself, it's not bad. But in traffic, <laughs> this is going to be a mess because it's very much a one groove racetrack, I, I think. Absolutely. There's going to be a lot of bumpers used and moved tonight, but uh, <laughs> hopefully you can stay out of trouble and get it to the end. Absolutely. Yeah. My goal is top five, uh, but uh, ultimate goal is just to finish. Sounds good. All right. We're about to grid up, so I'm going to put you back in the Discord channel you are in. Good luck tonight, sir. Thank you, James. Have a good broadcast, sir. Thank you. And that was Getty Buckner, driver of the number 33. And as I said, the drivers are about to grid up. Qualifying is over. And Caden Honeycutt is officially the pole sitter for tonight's race. Let me see if I can get a interview with Caden before we get going here. Now being a short track, the field will pace around two times before we officially go green. And as always with the DRL Pro Series, there's a eight tire limit, which means the drivers only have eight tires they can use throughout the whole race. If anybody uses more than eight, they will be penalized. So the drivers will have to save the tires and get it to the end the best they can. So let me pull in Kate and Honeycutt real quick. So, Kate and Honeycutt, this is James Pandoff in the booth. Have a copy? <coughs> yes, sir. Well, congratulations on the poll tonight. How do you feel going in? You were also fastest in practice, so that must be a good sign. Yeah, um, me and Garrick, it's going to be a tight race. Uh, even Ben, I think Ben was going to have a little speed here with us. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, I, this is going to be my first time doing the actual tire tire game. we got eight tires, and you can only use so much. So we're going to play it out some, 185 laps, so it's going to be a long race and just see you. Who takes tires when and uh we actually get like green flag stops which i don't think we probably will uh we'll just have to see we'll do, uh, do our best here and it's gonna be a good race all right sounds good well i'm gonna let you go here as the field is now pacing good luck to you and hope to talk to you at the end yes sir enjoy guys thank you That was Caden Honeycutt, tonight's pole sitter. Let me see 
if I can quickly go through the grid. Ben Izenga will be third, Justin Allen fourth, Taylor Butcher Benjamin fifth, Matthew Kleinsman sixth. I will let it go through as we are on the green. Caden Huntcutt takes the lead, diving down into turn one. And we have a quick caution as it looks like it might have been Getty Buckner that got spun around. And it was. Let me see if I can go back there real quick. Looks like he just loses it on the high side and collects Joseph Childs in the 25 there. So not a good start for Getty Buckner. He has a little bit of damage from the contact with the 25, but I believe he'll be okay for the remainder of this race. All right, so on the very first lap, caution here at Southern National. Go to the 25, see what kind of damage he might have. Uh, yeah, it looks like he definitely has a lot of front end damage. Uh, we'll see if that impacted his engine at all. Um, aerodynamics is not a huge factor here at these short tracks. We'll just have to see how it goes on for the remainder of this race. And we have the 75 of Bill Edwards already in pits. Looks like he is taking tires, so that's an interesting strategy with the eight tire limit we have tonight. Looks like the field is double stacking, so we should be going green shortly. And the pace car is off, and we are under green. Caden Honeycutt leading them to the line, side by side under turn one. Caden Honeycutt looks to clear the 68, but the 68 is not having it as he dives back on the outside. Kane and is now fully in front of Garrett Mains as they head in turn one. Going back a little in the pack, we have Robbie Armstrong and Taylor Butcher Benjamin side by side. Robbie Armstrong looks to clear Taylor as they head into turn one, and Martin Wenzel is going to follow. Gaddy Buckner getting loose back there. And Martin finally passes Taylor. Going back up front real quick. Garrett Main just closing the gap on Caden Honeycutt. can do a quick onboard with Garrett Maynard to see what he's looking at as he chases down the leader, Caden Hunnicutt. Ooh, got a bit loose there in the middle. As you can see is and here, Garrett is actually downshifting to third gear as he rolls through the middle of the corners. And you got Caden Honeycutt, clear view ahead of him. As you can see, Caden Honeycutt is not downshifting compared to Garrett, who was. So, a uh, little bit of different strategies going on throughout the field here between shifting and not shifting. Going back through the field, we have Matthew Kleinsman in fifth place with Robbie Armstrong right behind him in the three. Matthew Kleinsman with a nice national guard scheme, and we have a caution. Uh, I think it might have been for the 25. Let's see if we can look back at it. 
and he does spin around. Let me see if I can go a little farther back. Alright, as he enters turn one and two, he loses it off turn two. Whips it or is able to keep it off the wall, so that's good for him. He does hit the inside wall. Alright, uh, so let's see if anybody pits. Getty Buckner is on pit road. Probably getting some fresh tires after spinning the first time. The right side goes up, so that's at least two of his eight tires he's using. And the left side as well, so he will have used half of his limit. Only 20 laps into tonight's race. Bill Edwards and Joseph are both in. I might have to get a fact check on that. I believe that is eight tires for Bill Edwards already, 20 laps in. Uh, let me see if I can get a fact check on that real quick. As we return our attention to the leaders, Caden Honeycutt and Garrett Mange are your 1-2, followed by Ben Izenga in 3rd, Justin Allen in 4th, and Matthew Kleinsman is 5th, as they are double stacking, so we are about to get a restart here. Heading into turn 3 now. And the pace car ducks off and we are under green again. Going to turn one and two, Caden does clear Garrett, but Garrett's looking for the crossover. And he sticks it to the inside of Caden. Oh, but he gets loose. He's able to chase it up the track, and we stay green. That was an excellent save by him in the number 68. Oh, the eight's around, however. That might be a caution, and there it is. Alright, so if we can go back on that real quick and see what exactly happened. Uh, it looks like Taylor just got loose off turn 2 and hits the wall. I'm not sure if that's going to do any damage, but... Uh, interesting, the number of people spinning out early so far. As the leaders are catching up to the pace car. Only 25 laps in of tonight's event. So crazy start of tonight's race. Hopefully things will be able to settle down. And I have been informed that Bill Edwards did use his eight tires already. So he will have to go 160 plus laps on the set of tires he has now. Uh, it looks like Caden is electing the outside lane, so that's interesting, and we'll see how that plays out for him. Ben Izenga is now in second after the Garrett Main's spinning loose. And here we go, green flag. Caden Honeycutt off to a great start. 
Ben Izenga clearly in second and side by side for third between Justin Allen and Matthew Kleinsman in the wall. He's keeping it in the wall. Everybody's able to get around him. That is bad for Kleinsman, but it looks like he'll be okay. That's twice the second place has had an issue, either getting in the wall and getting loose and dropping all the way back to the pack. As you see on the side of the number four, it looks like he has a tire rub, so he's been bumping fenders already. Going back to the leader, Caden Honeycutt. Has a nice half second lead over Ben Izenga in the 17. Going back to third, fourth, and fifth. Garrett Main just on the inside of Robbie Armstrong now for fourth. And gets by him easily. Looks like the, most of the field is spread out single file. We have Caden Honeycutt now coming up on some lap traffic. We'll see how he's able to get by them. Twenty five goes up high, it's gonna let him by easily. Let's see what the eight of Taylor Butch and Benjamin does. Looks like he will do the same, so good job on those drivers just getting out of the way for the leaders. Now it's Justin Allen's turn to go by those two. Looks like most of the field has been able to clear him. This is the closest battle on track between Bill Edwards and the three of Robbie Armstrong. Matthew Kleinsman is on pit. I wonder if he's getting that damage from hitting the wall repair. He does have a bit of a beat up front end, so definitely worth stopping in and getting that damage repaired. We have Caden Hunnicutt in the lead by over a second now, about to be 50 laps into tonight's event. Justin Allen has now passed Ben Izenga as Garrett Mains is also looking on the inside. That would be for the third position. Ooh, a little touch right there as they cross the line. Ben Izinga is holding tough on the outside. Side by side again as they cross the line. Going to turn one, Garrett Main just does have a slight advantage over Ben Izinga. And another caution is out. And not sure who that is for. Oh, the number four, Martin Wenzel. Let's see if we can see what happened to him. As he goes into the corner. Looks like he just clipped in the apron what a couple people have done already. And he spins it around. There's your leader, Kate Honeycutt, going by. It looks like he's able to keep it off the wall, so no harm, no foul. He's going to need four tires, however. Garrett Means is in pits, followed by Robbie Armstrong.
Just a reminder, the next race in the DRL iRacing Pro Series will be at New Smyrna on November 18th. That is in Florida. It's a half mile track and it'll be 165 laps. Tune in at 925 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday night. I, James Pandolf, will be broadcasting that. That is race number three of the season. As the leaders cross the line now, that this is officially 50 laps completed in tonight's event. Kaden okay, Hunica has elected the outside again, and we are under green. What a jump by Caden. Looks like the number 10 just didn't get going. Kate, uh, Garrett Mains in the 68s looking on the inside of him. As well as Ben Izenga to the inside of Justin Allen. Ooh, Ben Izenga cut up across the track and hit the wall. Robbie Armstrong is looking on the inside of him now. Ooh, Robbie Armstrong spins in front of the field and the 75 of Bill Edwards is collected. Oh no, that was... Let's see what happened exactly. Looks like he hit the apron. And then just spins and then the 75 gets hit. Let me see if I can go in a chase view and see that again. Yeah, right there. He hits the apron, loses grip, and that'll send him around. One more time in the cockpit, Cam. Alright, there. He's on the apron, accelerates, and spins it around. And the 75 has nowhere to go. Your leader, Caden Hunica, has now come to pit road. He's taking four tires and he's off. So that will put Garrett Mains as your new leader. Looks like the 25 of Joseph Charles Knight is done. He is 13 laps down. That's a tough break for him after a decent finish last week at Rockingham. The good news is this is only the second race, so there's still plenty of time to make up points. Yeah, Mange will be electing the inside line. Justin Allen in the Valvoline number 10 on the outside. Followed by Caden Hunica, who's led most of tonight's race in third. And green flag is out. Yeah, Mange off to a good start. Caden Hunica on the inside of Justin Allen. Will take second and Ben Izenga sticks his nose under there as well. And he'll take third away. So Justin Allen. Ooh, the 17 spins around. He might have had help by the number 10. And another quick caution. Let's see if we can see that. See if there was any help involved. Oh, yeah, there was help. Nice little bump from the 10. Let's look at that one more time from the gearbox. Yep, right there in the right rear. Spins him around. Then 
from the nose of Justin Allen. Here they go entering turn three. And he just hits him. Tough break for Ben Izanger. A third of the way through of tonight's event here at South Southern National, excuse me. Currently have seven drivers on the lead lap, third of the way through the race. Three drivers have retired, Hunter Johnson in the 22, Getty Buckner in the 33, and Matthew Kleinsman in the 59. So tough breaks for those three drivers, hopefully they can come back next week and get a good strong finish. As they enter turn three, they're about to go green one more time here. Pace car is off, green flag is out. Garrett Mains with a nice restart there, but Caden Hunt cuts strong on the outside as the side by side on the back stretch. Side by side going in turn three. Caden Hunt cut hanging on strong. That was Garrett Mains leading at the line. Still side by side as they head into turn three. Caden Hunnicutt at the line that time. Single file behind him as these two leaders side by side. Everybody else single file. Caden Hunnicutt's getting a little bit of a run off the corners. If this was the final lap, that would win him the race. Caden Hunnicutt starting to slightly lead over Garrett Mains and he clears him as they head in turn one. Ben Isinger thought about sticking his nose down there currently in third place. As you can see from the damage on Ben Isinger's number 17 aerodynamics does not matter at all as he's running tough in third. Ben Isinger hoping that Garrett will mess up so he can stick his nose down there and get second place away from him. Oh, that might have been it as Ben Isinger closed the gap a little bit. Garrett Main just looks to have recovered though. From the cockpit cam. And Izinger getting nice and close to him in turns three and four. Ben Izinger can get a good run off the corner. He'll be right there on the back bumper of Garrett Mains. It looks like he's getting a good entry in both sides, getting right up to the back bumper. It's the exit where he loses him. As you can see, the 25, the lap traffic getting out of the way of these drivers. Going into blimp cam, you'll be able to see how close he is able to close the gap on him as they end in the corners. As we go further in the pack now. Robbie Armstrong has a beat up vehicle. Uh, you can see donuts on the left side of his, number three. Martin Wenzel currently in fifth place behind the number 10 of Justin Allen.
I don't think there's one car in the field that doesn't have some sort of damage on them. Going back to your leader, Caden Honeycutt. As we're approaching the 100 laps to go mark of this event. Caden Honeycutt a steady one second from Garrett Mains. And then there's another second going back to third place, Ben Izenger. And then they start to gap the field with Justin Allen in fourth place. Martin Wenzel and Robbie Armstrong, Taylor Butcher Benjamin. Three drivers are currently one lap down. That would be Robbie Armstrong, who just got put a lap down. Sorry about that ladies and gentlemen. As we seem to have a steady green flag run going here, let's turn up the volume and listen to the sound of eye racing. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of banking to this track as it, we're on board with the gyro cam and the number 10 of Justin Allen.
Caden Honeycutt still has a half second lead over Garrett Maines and then it's number 68. With a little over 80 laps to go, Garrett Maines is catching the 51. Let's see if we can get by him and stay in front of him for the remainder of this event. Both drivers putting up equally of lap times. No one really gaining or losing ground. The driver with the oldest number of laps on his tires is Justin Allen. He has 109 laps on his. While Robbie Armstrong, who is a lap down, only has 44. As you can see, a lot of damage to his number three. Going back to the leaders, we have Caden Honeycutt and Garrett Maines, 1-2, and then 5 seconds behind them is Ben Izenga, the number 17. As they're catching on to the tail end of the lead lap traffic, Martin was all in 5th place. Ooh, Garrett Maines gets loose on, off to exit of turn 2. That will widen the gap a little bit. Ooh, he's still loose. That is just helping Caden Honeycutt pull away from him. As we have Caden Honeycutt now diving to the inside of Martin Wenzel, putting him one lap down. Caden Honeycutt's lead is now 1.1 seconds after the couple slip ups by the 68 of Garrett Maines. And I think in third place all by himself, just taking his time. No one to really catch and no one to really fear of in his mirror. Justin Allen at the line now. Same thing, nobody really behind him. Bill Edwards is behind him, but he is not for a position as the leader, Kanan Hunica, is catching up to the 75 of Bill Edwards and put him what would be two laps down. This has been an exciting race with a lot of cautions, but we'll still got a little over 50 left to go to see what happens here at the end. As Caden just slides in front of Bill Edwards there, that was a risky move, but it uh, looks like he did clear him. And next is Justin Allen to put a lap down.
after spinning and getting loose a lot, the 68 seems to have a pretty clean car. I believe Kaden Hunnicutt is the only other one that has little to no damage as well. Kaden Hunnicutt now coming to the back bumper of number 10 Justin Allen and he looks to the inside they almost touches across the line this will put the number 10 a lap down fourth place Justin Allen is now one lap down Let's watch Garrett Means get through this traffic in front of him. Able to clear the 75 of Bill Edwards. He only has one more to go before he has clear track to Caden. Only three drivers are currently on the lead lap as we're about to hit 50 laps to go. Nice roll through the center and he's able to clear Justin Allen off the corner of turn two. Garrett Maines is only a second behind Kanan Honeycutt. Ben Isinger having himself a night, started in third, he's currently third. Best lap time of a 13.668. We still only have three drivers retired in tonight's event. You can start to see the tire line starting to win on the track. Nice black strip along the inside, bottom of the track on both corners. After some troubled beginnings, it's nice to see these drivers finally having a little bit of a green flag run here as we're about to hit 40 laps to go in tonight's event. The only real battle is this one right here for the lead and possibly the win between Kate and Honeycutt and Garrett Maines. Less than a second between these two drivers.
closing the gap ever so slightly is now six tenths of a second. Gary May just reeling in Caden Hanukkah, hoping he makes some sort of mistake while he doesn't at the same time. Coming to lap number 150. Kane Hanukkah is your leader. Followed by Garrett Mange and Ben Isinger. Rounds up the top three. Still about six tenths of a second. Very little ground gaining by Garrett Mays as Caden Honeycutt took a high corner there. Looks like Caden Honeycutt might be trying to find grip. He's riding a little higher than normal. Yeah, it means is now five tenths or half a second behind the leader. Not really sure if that middle line is working as well as Caden might be thinking. As he goes back to the bottom there. Maybe he's just searching for something. As the leaders are going to be coming up on Martin Wenzel, who is currently one lap down in fifth. Still just under half a second between the two drivers. Both drivers are running 14.4 second lap times. Very little difference between the two. As Martin Wenzel goes way high letting the leader go by. Now he's riding behind him. This might affect Eric Mains. Garrett Mange is able to get by Martin. That might have hurt him about a tenth of a second, however. Bang Azinga is comfortably in third. As you can see, the leaders in the picture behind him. That is how far he is away from going to lap down. And that would leave only these two drivers on the lead lap with 20 laps to go coming up. Garamain is closing in on the door of the 51 as lap traffic might have to 
slow up Kane Honeycutt real quick. 25 goes high. He's getting out of the way. We'll have to see what the eight of Taylor Butcher Ben, uh, excuse me, the three Robbie Armstrong does. Fifty-one on the inside of three, and as well as the sixty-eight. So they take care of two drivers. Up next would be third place Ben Izinger to put a lap down. Winding down to the end of this race, Garrett means a half second behind Caden Honeycutt. It'll be interesting to see if Garrett can catch him, but I don't think he has enough to do so with less than 15 laps to go. Aiden Honeycutt looking at Ben Isinger is going to be making his move within the next two laps. Put him one lap down. Aiden Honeycutt looking on the inside as they head in turn one and two. And he clears the 17 putting him one lap down. Garrett Maines is falling off almost a second behind Aiden Honeycutt now. Yeah, I mean, just gonna need a caution if he expects to catch him and have a chance at this one. Ten to go at the line. Justin Allen currently in fourth place, right in front of Caden Honeycutt. This would be two laps down if Caden can get around him. Caden's catching Justin. He'll probably make his move in turn three. Yes, he does. Diving down inside of the number ten. Garrett Mains is now officially over a second behind Caden. I believe that will be it. Going to have five to go when they cross the line. Caden Honeycutt only has four and a half laps. Got to make him perfect. No mistakes and he will win race number two of this season. Almost a perfect race for this man. He was fastest in practice, won the pole, and he almost led every lap. He also has the fastest lap of tonight's race. Three laps to go for Caden Honeycutt. And here we go, coming to the white flag. One more lap for Caden Honeycutt to secure his victory. Entering turn three and four. No pressure from behind, and Caden Honeycutt will win the DRL iRacing Pro Series race at Southern National. Garrett Mains finishes second, followed by Ben Izenger, Justin Allen in fourth, and Martin Wenzel will round out your top five.
Caden Honeycutt, you're winning. All right, let's pull in the winner, Caden Honeycutt, for an interview. See his thoughts on the race. That was hard. Caden Honeycutt, you got a copy? Yes, sir. Well, congratulations on winning the second race of the season. A uh, bit of a sketchy beginning, but a solid green flag run at the end. What are your thoughts on this race? Uh, this, this is a pretty good race. Uh, the cautions and how many people were left down with shelf spins and all that kind of stuff. It kind of evened out the field uh, to miss me and Garrett at one of lap. Um, it, I knew this race was going to be a little crazy just because it's a really hard racetrack to race. And, you know, get everybody racing side by side. And as soon as the pace car goes out, the green flag is out. And just everybody's in a panic mode. Um, just this kind of what I expected to be a little, just a little edgy. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like you and Garrett were the only ones with little to no damage on your vehicles. A lot of uh, issues occurred in tonight's event. Even Garrett got loose at one time, fell all the way back in the field, but uh, you were the only one that really managed to keep the car under him and was able to pull off this win. Uh, is, yes, there, sir. is there any shout out you would like to give? Uh, you guys uh, doing a great broadcast. Thank you guys for tuning in uh, that are watching. Be sure to come back tomorrow for the Grand National Race at Phoenix. It's going to be a great race for the playoff and the cut. Um, thanks to James, thank you for letting me into your league, Eric Weatherholtz, for doing the uh, race control tonight. Um, just, I thank all these guys for coming out. We're going to get, I promise, we're going to get a little bit more guys. Uh, but uh, this is fun. Also, I think this uh, Cold Circle 51 all yellow car. Absolutely, it's a beautiful paint scheme. But all right, have a good night. Thank you for coming out and racing, and congrats on the win. It was a dominant performance. Thank you, sir. And that was your race winner, Caden Honeycutt. Now let's see if we can pull in the second place, Garrett Maines. So. Garrett Maines, this is James Pandolf. You have a copy? Yes, sir. Well, sir, you started second. You finished second. Had a little trouble there in the beginning. Fell all the way back in the field. And you managed to finish in second. How was your uh, reaction to falling back after getting loose? And how did you pull off coming back and finishing where you did? Oh, just got hit. Um, yeah, I, I really I knew that it was going to be uh, one of those races was close to me and Kate. Uh, it really, it, it just it kills me. I knew I had something for him. I didn't really think that was moving down the way it did. Um, I took two tires on that first stop, thinking, you know, we're going to continue the streak of, you know, we're going to have caution. So, you know, I wanted to have, being, you know, a short track, a lot of laps. You know, I wanted to be able to make stops more often. So, you know, I'll get a little edge on Kate here. And, you know, as we go, you know, maybe I'll have that one stop for him. And we just didn't. We didn't get any more, and I'm sitting there on two tires to his four. Like, gosh, I'm gonna have to drive my butt off. And I knew he was playing with me. He'd let me get to him, he'd pull away, and then I actually got to him, and my tires were too toast to do anything. And I just went backwards. It was, it was honestly frustrating. I thought I had a lot more uh, there. If we'd gotten a yellow, I think it would have been in good shape. Yeah, we had a long green flag run there at the end. Were you expecting another yellow, or did you think that that green flag run was going to happen, and you just didn't have enough time to catch and pass Caden? Um, I really did not think that green flag run was going to happen when it. Um, I really thought we were probably going to get another forty lap run, get a yellow. I thought it was going to slow down, but I thought we'd still have yellows here and there, you know, given how hard the setup was to drive. It just it didn't happen then. I. I drove it for what it was worth. Uh, I came up short this morning, but he, he earned it. He made the right calls. And he drove away with it, so that was good. Well, after a win last week and a second place this week, you can't be that disappointed. You will still be the points leader as we head next week to New Smyrna. Uh, what are your thoughts on that track? It's a decent track for me. I know Caden's really good there. Um, I've got a little bit, bit of experience in K&N and in 
numbers there, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to pick it up and go from there. I think it's going to be another race just like this one, really close. I think we're going to be, uh, you know, tit for tat from here on out. Yeah, it should be a good race, and I'm looking forward to watching it. Uh, any shout-outs you would like to give tonight? got to thank Taylor for sticking around in the uh, Discord. That was fun. I know he had a really unfortunate night, so uh, hopefully we'll have some better luck. But uh, that was fun. Glad he uh, stuck out with me. All right. Sounds good. Uh, congrats again on your second-place finish, and have a good night. You too. Thank you. That was Garrett Mange finishing second place tonight. He will be the points leader after the standings are updated. Ben Isinger finished in third. Let me see if I can pull him in here. Ben Isinger, this is James Pandora from the booth. You have a copy? Yeah, I got you, James. Well, sir, you finished third. And you started third. Um, towards the end of the race, it was kind of just you by yourself. You weren't really battling anyone. Uh, what were your thoughts on tonight's event? Um, you were a lap down. Um, anything you could have done differently to compete with Honeycutt and Mains? Yeah, I didn't really have a lot of practice going into the race. And, uh, yeah, I probably should have just prepared more, really. Uh, I have a lot of experience on the short tracks in general. Uh, especially a lot of experience at this track, but not in this car, so uh, I probably should have worked on a little bit more, but I'm definitely happy with how I finished uh, Both those guys in front of me were just crazy fast, so I'm happy to finish in third um, Everyone else put on a pretty good race. I thought so yeah good time yeah, And uh, your car definitely tells a story a lot of uh, rub marks and fenders bent on that thing um were you expecting the race to go the way it did? Yeah, well, after practice, I figured both those guys were probably going to kick my butt pretty well. But, uh, yeah, I definitely had a couple encounters with the wall and a couple encounters with a couple other cars. But, uh, yeah, I figured I was going to be pretty decent. Like I said, I have a lot of experience in short tracks, so i uh pretty confident going into these types of races. Alrighty, well, before I let you go, is there anyone you'd like to give a shout-out to? Yeah, I gotta give a shout out to my friend the underscore Wendy's girl on Twitter and my other friend uh, It's the Doyle on YouTube and uh, I gotta thank Steph Stefco Racing Engines as well Fantastic Racing Engines, check them out on the internet, it's fantastic um, Yeah, that's about it, S2R Alrighty man, well congratulations on the third place finish and we hope to see you next week Thanks JP and that was Ben Isenger finishing third tonight. Justin Allen, fourth place finisher tonight. Let me see if I can pull him in for a quick interview. I actually do not see him in the Discord, so we will have to skip him and go on to the fifth place finisher, Martin Wenzel. Martin Wenzel, this is James Pandoff in the booth. Do you have a copy? Yes, sir. Well, Martin, you started 11th. Not the best qualifying effort, but you came away with a top five finish. Uh, was the 11th place starting spot what you planned, or did you mess up in qualifying? Uh, that's just as fast as I could go. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the first time running this track. I just got it today, and so... You know, I'm not really, you know, never really a great qualifier, so mostly it's just about staying, you know, keeping the car upright and uh, keeping the engine going. And that's basically what happened last week and same thing this week, just tried to stay as clean as possible. Had that one little uh, hiccup, brought out a yellow, got a little too low on the apron, going through one of the turns, was trying to hug that uh, line all night and... Just slipped up that one time and that cost me a few positions, but I was able to get back onto the lead lap a few yellows later. Well, you got a top five tonight, so I guess you could say it was money well spent. Yeah, I mean, it'll just be another track that I can do and 
comes around in official races and stuff. Uh, yeah, you know, I had the money from you know the iRacing racing credits from doing the you know the participation credit and stuff. So wasn't really spending anything. So hopefully, hopefully I have enough that I can pick up the what is it the what's the road course car we're gonna be using? <laughs> the Skippy. Yeah, the Skippy. Because you know we'll see. I I think I have most of. The, you know, just looking at what I had to buy, you know, tracks and stuff. It's just there's only a few left that I don't have, so <laughs> just through all the different series we do and official races. Yeah, but otherwise, just keeping the just trying to stay alive, trying to stay out of the way. There were a few times. I mean, there was that one time uh, Garrett got loose and he came flying back to the field, and that kind of scrunched everyone up. I kind of got sandwiched, went three wide. I think uh, Bill Edwards and. Uh, it was either Armstrong or Butcher Benjamin were right there and just okay I'm, I'm gonna slow out back out of this and let everything shake out and then I'll just get back going because no need to keep no need to push it still there I think you got your uh, mic muted. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Somebody uh, <laughs> called me. Um, all right, well, before I let you go, we'll wrap this up real quick. Any shout-outs you would like to give? Uh, just the league in general. Uh, show up. Uh, we got a race tomorrow, Grand National Series. and uh, Hopefully, I mean, we're a little bit low on numbers uh, for points drivers in all the series. As we go into the playoffs here, and we're last week, last two weeks of the playoffs. Uh, but hopefully next season, hopefully some of these guys that are coming out for the Pro Series and Winter Series uh, will be joining up for the Grand National and the Cup and the Truck for next year, and we can have a nice, uh, nice big deep fields for the points drivers in those series next year. So come out if you haven't joined yet. Absolutely, it should be a lot of fun this winter. Alrighty, Martin. Well, uh, congrats again on the top five. Thank you for all you do for this league, and we'll see you tomorrow for the Grand National Series race. Yep. Thank you. All right, that was Martin Wenzel, and I have found Justin Allen. So let me pull him in, and we'll get f finish off tonight's interviews with our fourth place finisher. Justin Allen, this is James Pandolf. You have a copy? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Well, you started fourth tonight, and you finished in fourth. Uh, a lot of action going on, both with you and around you. Uh, how did you take tonight's race, and uh, anything you could have done differently? Uh, yeah, it was a pretty good race. Uh, a little crazy there the first quarter or so. Settled down after that. Um, yeah, just got messed up on tire strategy. I was hoping on getting more caution. And I never pitted the whole race. I run the whole 185 laps on one set of tires. And everybody else pitted. I think that was the advantage they had. Uh, I was hoping we could get a late race caution, maybe get some tires, and maybe see what we could do. Yeah, there was definitely a lot of action going on. Uh, maybe a few too many cautions, but the late green flag run... Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, how did your tires hold up by the end? As you said, you messed up a little on the tire strategy. Yeah, they uh, surprisingly held up pretty good. Uh, never was really too hard on them early on. Was trying to save them a little bit anyway. Uh, but yeah, you just back your corners up. It'd be easy on it. They were still there at the end. It wasn't too bad. There you go, and it got you a top five. Um, before I let you go, any shout-outs you would like to give? I'd just like to thank everybody with uh, DRL for putting on the league and uh, the race tonight. It was real fun. And hopefully, in the weeks to come, we can get a few more guys in here and a little deeper field. But all in all, still good racing, and I appreciate the league and the opportunity to run it. Well, we appreciate having you and uh, you giving your time to run with us. Um, is excellent and we hope that more drivers will come out in the upcoming weeks um, anyways 
Uh, congrats again on your top five finish, and we will see you again next week. Thank you. Alrighty, guys. Well, that was Justin Allen, and those were the top five finishes of tonight's event. Uh, real quick, the next broadcast for DRL TV is tomorrow night for the Grand National Series. That is the B car, and it will be at Phoenix, the final race to determine who the four drivers are competing at Homestead for the championship. So please tune in for that. David Wellborn and Jason Taylor are your broadcasters for that one. The next race for the Pro Series will be next Sunday at New Smyrna. That will be broadcasted by me, James Pandolf, at 9.30. Uh, tune in for that one. Should be a lot of fun. Credits. We have to thank James Pandolf, Tater Bowman, the owners of the league. Tater Bowman for all the financials. Martin Wenzel, Jordan Gonzalez for the graphics and for the technical support. Tater Bowman is the marketing for this league broadcast. David Warborn Jr., Taylor Butch and Benjamin, Martin Wenzel, Getty Buckner, Ryan Branch, Jason Taylor, and myself. Everybody puts in a lot of hours into this league, and we appreciate each and every one of them. Administration, Tater Bowman, Martin Wenzel, James Pandolf, David Warborn Jr., and Getty Buckner. Admin for the Cup Series, Tater Bowman. Admin for Grand National Series, Martin Wenzel. The Truck Series admin is Getty Buckner. For the Pro Series, Race Control, Eric Weatherholtz. And for this upcoming Winter Series, we have both Oval and Road. That will be Getty Buckner behind the helm of those series. So thank you everybody for watching and I hope you have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow night for the Grand National Series race. Thank you.